zero fossil fuel back. Uh, I wanted to let everybody know that I picked up some 100% sodium hydroxide this afternoon for the grand total of $3.99 plus tax. It is marketed at my local hardware store called Professional Ruto Quality. Um, household 100% lye drain opener. So I guess Ruto, R-O-O-T-O, -O -O, is the brand name. And uh, we'll be uh, experimenting with that tonight. I wanted to show you uh, the cell again. I put just a tiny bit of the drain opener in the liquid. We've got about 42 ounces of water in the electrolyzer tank. And I've taken the tip of a straw and cut it off and made a small measuring spoon if you can see that and just at the very tip of that did I scoop up a little bit of the sodium hydroxide and stirred it into the water if I had to count the granules I would say they're probably about 40 or 50 granules and they're, they're quite small so you get some idea of how small the increments are that we'll be adding uh, we I've already gone through the preparation procedure of the of the cell of the, of the uh, plate cavity running down the stack one at a time with 12 volts till I reach the center on both sides and then leaving it at leaving the entire cell at 12 volts for about 20 minutes. I then ramped up the voltage a little bit and uh, we're sitting right now at about 15 milliamps and 12 volts. Uh, with the sodium hydroxide I'm going to turn the voltage up and leave it at this concentration and we're drawing about 500 milliamps and I don't know how well you will be able to see this it looks like you can see it pretty well if you'll notice on the A side of the cell which is what you're looking at hydrogen bubbles the small bubbles are coming off of the p off of the side of each plate facing the positive meaning that hydrogen is being liberated from the side of the plate which has a negative potential. On the opposite side of each plate we have larger bubbles coming off, fewer but larger, and those are the oxygen bubbles being liberated. So in each cell cavity we have two streams coming up off the plates. We have a stream of hydrogen and we have a stream of oxygen. Now it's not that much but what I am noticing right now is now that I've gone through the uh, preparation of the cell cavity following uh, well-established procedures the distribution of the gas generation is very even across all of the cells I'm very pleased with that so I'm gonna let this run like this for I don't know until the cell gets a little warm uh, and then I'm going to stir in a little bit more concentration, back the voltage down, and hopefully get the current going up with lower and lower amounts of voltage. We'll pause the video right now. Be right back. All right, I've added uh, another small amount of, with uh, this cut straw, a small amount of sodium hydroxide to the solution. Stirred it in, allowed it to circulate and the current at the at the same voltage I had before immediately shot up to about 1.6 amps so I back the voltage down I am now running at uh, let me see here what we got 90 so uh, probably about 100 volts and 1.1 amps you can see at this current st at this current level we still have uh, bubbles rising off of the edge of the plates hydrogen on the negative side of the plates oxygen on the positive and we also see now the formation of bubbles in solution between the plates about three quarters of an inch from the top that's at a current of one amp and these plates are spaced at a quarter of an inch apart obviously spacing is, is going to be uh, crucial in the finished cell and I'm going to crank up the voltage again to where we were before, previously. Uh, stay out of my own light. 
and we'll go up to about an amp and a half and immediately you can see the production of the gas bubbles in the intervening space between the plates dive down deeper between the plates so we're liberating gas actually in solution as well as collecting the gas on the plates and liberating it that way um, I can't really show you this right now but at the top there there is very little surface tension and the uh, the the bubbles are not really forming an associate of mine were just we're talking this afternoon and we really came to the conclusion that the formation of bubbles on the surface of, a, of an electrolysis tank while it might be fun for show and tell to collect small pockets of gas to ignite with a with a lighter it really doesn't serve a lot of useful purpose in terms of generation of gas actually the opposite is true we the, the, the object of the game is to generate the gas and liberate it right away without forming the bubbles so that we also aren't generating vapors from the electrolyte to that end he asked me to try something and I'm going to try this experiment for you tonight uh, once we get the current up and the production really cooking along uh, we're going to try adding some Calgon to the solution. I don't know if anyone has ever tried this. I have a feeling it may have a similar effect as the dishwashing detergent did last night after it lost its ability to hold surface tension and create bubbles. Um, it is a very, Cal Calgon is a very closely guarded fabric softener and additive that uh, is sold here in the United States. I don't know how familiar those of you abroad are with this product, but the company very closely guards the secret of the chemical composition of this material. And nobody seems to really know what it is, but we all know what it does. And the object here is to reduce the surface tension to liberate the gas as quickly as possible. So that is that is the goal tonight, and uh, hopefully I'll have a bag attached to the to the outlet nipple with the cover on and we'll try to give you some sort of uh, measurement of liters per minute of gas production. As you can see here, as the temperature has risen in the cell, production has gone up as has the current with uh, equal voltage and probably at about 120 volts, so roughly 13, 14 volts per cell right now. Fairly high for a cell of this type. And we're almost to 3 amps production is running along very good. I'm just going to show you quickly the top. We have a very nice even distribution and some surface tension beginning to form. And of course we have hydrogen. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. I'm going to let this go for a little bit longer. Then I'm going to let the cell cool for a while. I will be back a little later. After the cell has cooled back down, we'll stir in a little bit more electrolyte and try to get this current up at a much lower voltage. Zero Fossil Fuels signing out for now. I will be back shortly.